Hey folks, welcome to the first ever What We Know Wednesday. So, what do we know? <laughs> we know that sarsaparilla is amazing for binding to endotoxins, and I know that you are smart enough to put this information to good use. In this study right here, they showed, they were really studying psoriasis, but they showed that sarsaparilla, some of her main compounds, had the capacity to bind to endotoxins, and that is big news, and it goes so much beyond uh, psoriasis, although psoriasis is definitely an issue if you're living with it. But we also know that this study, this study is the money. <laughs> this study that showed that astobil, which is a common flavonoid, a really high flavonoid found in sarsaparilla, had the capacity to save these rats from dying from sepsis that had centered in the lungs. Right, so basically sepsis is where you get proteins or anything like that or something that's not a foreign body bacteria anything that gets into your bloodstream that's not supposed to be there you'll go septic like septic shock you know sepsis is a real thing i had a uncle-in-law who died of it within like three days of getting poked by a barbed wire fence it happens right so this study showed that these rats that were let's just be honest they gave these rats sepsis in the lungs <laughs> There's no other way to say it. It happens. This is how these studies occur, right? Um, but so they they made these rats real sick and they gave half of them these astobil flavonoid compounds that again are found in sarsaparilla. And by the way, half of these rats that were given it like survived. Their injury scores were way down. Their sepsis numbers dropped. It stopped the cytokine storms, which is fancy talk for severe inflammation because it's binding to the endotoxins. Endotoxins are something like if you, you know, uh, let's say you live in a house that has a bunch of mold, you have endotoxins in your body. If you catch a sniffle or something that's going around, you end up with endotoxins in your body. But the thing is, there's not a whole lot of herbs that can actually bind. And I mean like bind onto this bacteria, this endotoxin, this thing that's being created in you that makes you feel really sick and have nasty symptoms. There's not a whole lot of herbs that do that. So it's really, really pretty amazing. Now, if I wanted to just look at rats and things like that, you know, it's, it's a thing. But also, this account talks about, it, it's pretty long, I'll link it, but they talk about um, basically a young girl uh, was really like worn down like emotionally and things like that. And remember, your emotions can impact your immune system and everything like that. She ended up, she ended up with pneumonia and they treated her with sarsaparilla. Uh, they even talk about um, the dosages and stuff in that account. It was somebody who practices um, homeopathic um, practices, <laughs> uh, for lack of a better word, but they were using real sarsaparilla, and that is really amazing, and I think sarsaparilla is something that we should look into when it comes to if we're going to to have like lung issues or psoriasis or we've got a high endotoxin load from mold. Now sarsaparilla is readily available even though it only grows naturally in South America. Again, it's expanded all over the world in the warm climates and you can even get sarsaparilla drinks still like root beer. You can make your own drinks, you can make a tea, you can make a tincture, um, you can take capsules. She works in most of those ways and um, she's not overly toxic, you know, she's been shown to be pretty safe, you know, to the point that people can still make you know, food and beverages out of her for general public consumption. So she is something to look into and that's what we know. So uh, thanks for sticking it out with me through the first one. I'll probably get smoother at it. <laughs> um, if you like these little videos, make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, turn on notifications. Sharing is super important because it helps other people realize that they are smart enough to do this too. They are smart enough to take this information and apply it to their own health and just share it with the world. Um, and if you would like to support my capacity to teach freely, consider following the links in my bio or in the description of the video, depending on where you're watching, and call something home from my shop because it supports my ability to do this. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time, folks. Bye.